Welcome back for another FTT price prediction analysis video and at the time of this recording FTT continues to hold above that is below the 20 day MA here on the 4 hour chart which is now acting as resistance for us to continue gearing up. We are also holding above support at around the $3 mark and as long as that key area of support continues to hold there are high chances that FTT is going to continue giving us higher prices. And the next key area of resistance that we need to see a break above lies at around the $4.95 mark. And a break above that with a successful retest, then I will be expecting FTT to continue gearing up and possibly get above the $10 mark in the next coming days. FTT has also continued to obey the ADO12 structures and zooming out on the charts to give you my ADO12 analysis and also a recap of what has been happening. You can see that last year we saw the FTX collapse taking us to all time lows. And after seeing the all time lows, you can see that we had been stuck within this range between the $1.5143 mark and the $0.98, the $0.968 mark, which is an area that we had been stuck for more than a year. And finally, on the 23rd of November, we finally saw the breakout out of the range to the upper side in an impulsive move that gave us a high above the $5.5 mark, completing the formation of these ADO12 count one to the upper side. And after seeing the formation of that wave 1, we expected a bit of a pullback in the formation of this wave 2. And the minimum target areas for the second wave can be given using the Fibonacci, connecting the Fibs from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave 1, giving me a minimum pullback target area between the Fib level 0 0.5 and the Fib level 0 0.78 as a maximum. And that was between the 3 $0.29 mark and the $1.99 mark which is an area that we almost fully maximized and you can easily see that on the charts we saw that pull back into the area and then we started a bit of a reaction to the upper side in what could now be the start of an impulsive wave in the formation of this wave 3 and the minimum target areas for the third wave can be given by connecting the trend based Fibonacci from the low of the first wave down there to the high of that wave one, then dragging the Fibs to the low of the second wave, giving me a minimum target area for the third wave at the Fib level 1.618 and that is above the $10.2693 mark, which is the minimum that we can expect this wave three to the upper side to do. And for that to play out, we need to see FTT see a break above significant areas of resistances like the area at around the $4.95 mark because a break above that I don't see much of resistance until we hit the $10 mark in the formation of that wave 3. We also need to have in mind that there are chances that we can also get rejected at this key area of resistance and in case such a movement plays out then I will be expecting an even more deeper pullback here on the FTT chart. And the reason as to why I'm saying that, you can see that we have a common area of resistance at around the $4.9 mark, which is an area that we have managed to hit twice with no successful breakouts to the upper side. And as a result of this, this has now led to the formation of a double top, having that as the first top, then the neckline, then the second top. And if we see a rejection over here and we continue heading further down, then that will be suggesting that there are chances that we can easily see a breakout out of this double bottom, that is double top to the lower side, whose minimum target areas can be given by, by getting the height between the tops and the neckline. So I can get that height and then place it below the neckline to give me a minimum breakout target area to the lower side at around the $0.9628 mark. So that is the worst case scenario that we can expect in case we continue heading further down, losing significant areas of support here on the charts. So that is what I'm watching out in the next coming hours here on the FTT chart. And I hope that video was of much help to you and I hope to catch you in the next one.